Hey guys, it's Jen. This is my number two video. So today I want to talk to you guys about um, an experience I had last week. So one of my side businesses that I do is I make balloon animals, um, balloon animals for birthday parties. And um, I don't know, now that I'm like getting older, I think really in depth about this stuff. And it's probably just taking all my knowledge from school and just putting it all into like a huge puzzle piece that's being put together. Anyways, um, so I go to the birthday party, right? There's all these little kids, probably eight or nine. There's like one five-year-old. And they're so freaking cute. They love the balloon owls. They're all talking to me about how they love classic rock music and Jimi Hendrix and Pink Floyd and they like Bob Marley. And I was like, oh my God, maybe our generation, our new generation has hope. But then I was like mortified by how beautiful a few of these kids were. And then um, they started talking about this video game and the most evilish shit started coming out of their mouth. Um, they're talking about Minecraft. Now, I, I've actually stopped watching TV for six years. I used to be really into video games, but now I'm just so busy with my $65,000 of debt and society, society's fucking requirements and, and, and slavery that they do to us. I can't even do the shit I want. But anyway, so back to the story here. I don't watch TV, but I've heard of Minecraft. So that just tells me this is a popular game. All these kids are talking about it. They start talking about Minecraft. And then they start talking about this thing called Slender Man. Now, I've never heard of Slender Man either. But they were like, yeah, Slender Man is in Minecraft. And he will make kids um, kill their parents and do evil things. And he has no face and he has tentacles. And he like um, he has a long, ar like, long arms and wears a suit. And he's in Minecraft. I was like, what? Who is this guy? And they're like, Slender Man. And I'm like, I don't even know who Slender Man is. And they were like, all the kids were like, oh, you know who Slender Man is? Everyone knows who Slender Man is. He, um, he like, I guess, can speak to kids and makes kids do bad things. I just thought that was freaky. And I started telling the kids, hey, you know what? Because uh, their parents were around and stuff. And I'm just making these kids blue animals. But they, kids love me. And I don't know why they talk to me about the crazy stuff, but they love me. So I was, and I listened to them. That's probably why they love me. Parents were like, shoo, 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 go away. But I'm like, oh, really? And I like talk to them because they're so interesting to me. I like, love kids. Like, you get so much information out of them, and it tells you about like what happened to us when we were that age. So, anyways, these kids, I was like, that sounds like an evil person. I was like, that sounds like a bad person. What do you guys do? You should just not listen to him because he's bad. Just listen to good people. And I left it at that. And I was like, let's stop talking about this. And we talked about some other stuff. And, well, actually, right before we stopped talking about other stuff, this kid was like, look at my shirt, it's Minecraft! And it had, like, these cute little characters on it, and I was like, wow, now I'm, I don't know what they're fucking talking about. So I kind of brush it off, and I go to work the next day. Um, I work at property management, and I'm in my office talking to my coworker. I tell her this little story, just real simply, and she's like, oh my gosh, Amy, did you hear about what happened in the news? And I'm like, what? Yeah, two 12-year-olds apparently stabbed another 12-year-old in Missouri or something, something with an M. I'm not really good with details, but something with an M um, state. And they stabbed her like 20 times and left her for dead and she came out of the woods and a bicyclist or somebody walking found her. And uh, now she's, they're going to jail being tried as adults. And they said that Slender Man made them do it. They said that they had to show him that they believed in him and that he told them to do that stuff. Oh my god. That freaked me out. I was like, what are you talking about? Because I got the creepy feeling when they were talking about it. And I was like, dude, this is creepy. These are cute, beautiful kids. And they're like, now they're saying creepy shit, and it's creeping me out. <laughs> so, it, I don't know. I was bored, and I ended up doing like freaking three hours of research. I looked up Slender Man. Found out he was created on a forum three years ago, or a couple years ago in the 2000s, for a contest. But the guy who created it, he actually uh, did some interview and he said that what he did is like he took a bunch of like different you know n evil people and put them together and kind of just created this thing called Slender Man out of like all these evil folklores and like s superstitious stories whatever well I, I started doing some re uh, research on like Western mysticism which is like apparently like you know westernized um, part of the world that's like its first you know stages of spirituality beliefs or whatever and apparently it stemmed into what we have as religion today but anyways um this like old ancient teaching type spiritual thing of western mysticism apparently says you can manifest 
like evil things if enough people were thinking about it which in my opinion if enough people wanted to like support a bad celebrity that was promoting bad things then I believe that's something bad that you're manifesting by all these people like promoting it so it's just like a evil character and is being you know promoted and you're basically promoting some evil entity into your kids's imaginations but so that's what the, the, that said when I looked it up uh, somebody in the forum had linked it to the um, the interview and um, I was thinking about that more and I was like you know what people aren't gonna believe that's just manifested so I started doing research on all the negative or yeah the negative evil little characters he had chosen to kind of put together and I did research and research and, and, and followed like you know the the steps from how that was created and what culture created that and what culture created and got and I got led back to the Egyptian times where there's this thing that looks like Slender Man on a freaking rock carved up by the Egyptians. It's a little spider thing with tentacles coming out and they you know nowadays they say that could be you know the old age Slender Man which I think Slender Man just represents evil. It's an evil entity evil superstitious DT thing that was created for to promote evilness or whatever and pretty much with doing that forum contest they had manifested a new 2000 version of this evil thing and it became so popular that they put it into a 2014 movie and they put it into Minecraft as a mod and this character is inside it. Look up Minecraft Slenderman. There's a little Slenderman in the video game. But it's a mod you can download after you get the original game so if you watch your kids and you don't let them take it and download it then they won't have it in there and I'm not saying like, every kid's gonna go stab their 12 year old friend but kids are really young and they are very imaginative they don't know everything that you know when you get to be older so you don't want to put them in some you don't want to give them something like that to know like without at least talking to them about it at least now that you guys know it's in there you can go talk to your kids about it educate them teach them and then they'll know but some kids don't get that and their parents don't know what's going on and then they just start learning these things and they can go do evil things just because they think it's okay but um so i look up this you know stems from ancient times this is a real ass thing people are like oh well, it was only created three years ago it's created three years ago off of the teachings and ideas of these ancient dts so it's like well yeah it's a continuation it's a new virgin or not virgin version and um it became so popular and went viral on, uh, after he created it, that they started using for, you know, the movies and the games, and it became, you know, so widely um, known, and they use it for promotional services, uh, promotional purposes. So then I look up the Slender Man 2013 movie, and it's made by a company called, um, it's like the Super Brothers. Let me look it up real quick. Hold on. All right. So um, pretty much, I looked it up, and here it is. It's called uh, Super Movie Brothers, and there's a pyramid, and um, yeah, that's supposed to, pyramid is like, just represents ancient, I think, um, it's a symbol of power, um, I'll get more into the Egyptian stuff later, but, so, this company is made by Super um, Movie Brothers, and if you look into Super Movie Brothers, they're connected to this company that is one of the biggest funders for the 2025 moon landing or not Moonlight, sorry, Mars um, Advancement of Humans or whatever. We're supposed to start going to Mars in 2025. So this big, huge type of program that's like trying to fund money to make, you know, the necessary tools and technology to do that. And that's what's pretty much funded Slenderman or Slenderman funds because it's not necessarily they're evil. I mean, that's where the conspiracy shit comes in. You don't think about it that way. It's not necessarily that they're going to space me I'm not gonna put my thoughts into this yet I'll let you guys know later but I'm not gonna say anything about it now I'm not saying it's evil or whatnot but the fact that they're using something that went viral because it was big and it's negative you know to promote movies and video games so they can get more money towards their funding program uh, how is that fair I mean I never chose to let them do that to my kids I don't have kids, but like to our youth, I just don't think you should like be allowing. That should be to have some type of law. Like I just don't think it's okay. We should be promoting things that are viral and positive, not things that are viral and negative. 
I mean, yeah, it's all fun and games when you think about it small scale, but it's, I mean, it's a girl got killed for no reason. Well, not killed, she actually survived, but got stabbed like 12 times for no reason. I mean, I'm pretty sure she didn't grow up to be a fucked up person. I really hope not, though. Poor child, I really hope you stay positive. But it's not gonna be easy. I'll be here. I will I'll be having lots of money by then, and I will help you if you need help. You better help me do that. But I'm just saying, like, I did research. I found out what corporation made it, why it was made, what was behind the reasoning for it, why it became so popular. And it became popular because it's something creepy. It's something that's brought on by, like, ancient teachings and people like, is it real, is it not? And you got them all thinking, like, you know, it's like a creepy ghost story. And then it just became popular and then started using it because they wanted us to buy, you know, games and watch the movie because it was popular. And then they take our money and then they put it towards the program and the company, corporation, whatever that they want. Um, I guess this is what I'm coming at from here. I already know this for a while. I just like doing things like this, relating it to like actual facts of what happened in my life, and then looking it up and just seeing the trail. You could just do it easily with Google. It takes a couple minutes. Um, let me give you a challenge. I try to do this as much as I can. Not that I do it 100%, but it doesn't have to be 100%. You just need to make an effort. Because a little bit goes a long way if everyone's doing it. For some of the things that you know you spend a lot of money on, and you know there's like several different other ways of attaining it, like small mom and pop shops, online stores, even maybe getting it from another country or creating it yourself. Where are you getting it from? What company is behind it? How about you do a Google search on the company name and then see where the money goes real quickly. It's not very hard. And then if you agree and want to support that, go ahead and buy it. Try to do that with one thing per day. That you buy, whether it be McDonald's, if you're going to Ralph's, Rite Aid, Albertsons, or you know which one is backed with better. Um, I I guess which one uses the money for more. I mean things you want and you agree with. Because dude, we're we're definitely funding things that we probably don't agree with. Like, I mean. I'm never ever gonna buy that Minecraft game or anything related to Slender Man just because I don't like the concept. I'm a Libra. Here I'm gonna talk about astrology. We don't like negative evil things. Well, we just don't like negativity. We like everybody to be happy. Sometimes, you know, actually most times we hear about the comfortable, the, com the comfortable myths in other people around us rather than ourselves. And that's what I need to work on. But it's not a bad thing. It's definitely a good thing. And as long as I stay optimistic and strong, even though it may make me susceptible to some evil people trying to take advantage of me. I won't let them win. I'm going to use the positiveness and try to promote it as much as I can. Because if I don't do it, I haven't seen anyone else doing it. Actually, there's some cool people. I'll name them later. But, thanks to you, Morris.